Sales announcement. There are complications, but things are proceeding. And the people have already started gathering. Gabriel, do you mind entertaining them for a moment while I make sure the queen is ready? Of course, Lady Shiaria. Go do what you need to do. Hail and well met. As we do every year, we have gathered here to celebrate the passing of the summer solstice. And after all that has transpired and all that has happened since last we gathered here, we are happy to be able to celebrate with you here once more in the capital city of the Kingdom of Kool-Aid. Yes. yes, it's lovely, isn't it? You, what are you doing here? Ah, oh, Gabe, how wonderful it is to see you. And how lovely it is to see all these faces all gathered in one place. Leave here, foul creature. There's no one for you to manipulate here. <laughs> oh, me? Manipulate. Uh, but Gabriel, who brought the scout Captain Kinnear, all under the false pretenses of seeking aid from the crown? <laughs> tisk tisk. False pretenses? Kinnear's need is true. And yet you bring her childhood rival, the High Lord Narman, here to complicate matters. <laughs> <laughs> Complicate matters, me? Oh, no, 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 Gabriel. This is complicated enough. On its own, no help from me required. The Queen Erelief is about to announce her abdication of the throne. I wonder who will her successor be? <laughs> I wonder. Queen Erelis of Kool-Aid. The opening Ooh. ceremonies will begin shortly. Lord Narva, you seem to be in good spirits today. It's a good day to be a noble, Councillor Nesri. I don't suppose that would have anything to do with the Queen's announcement and your place in all of this. Ah, Kinnear, good of you to make it. Good people, one and all, and travelers from all corners of the world. I am Erelis, queen of the kingdom of Kulain, a nation forged by its peoples and cultures. After so long an absence, after all the hardships we have faced over the last few years, and now in a time of peace, it is my greatest honor and my most joyful privilege to say the next eight words to all of you. Welcome back to the Midsummer Fantasy Renaissance Fair! <laughs> For 300 years, I have sat on the throne of this land. Ever since the death of my husband, King Tonatris, so many ages ago. You were his shining light. We all miss him, Your Majesty. Only those of us old enough to remember him, I'm afraid. But that time has passed, and now to look ahead. My husband was a fan of large, long-winded speeches. It was one of the qualities that I admired about him. But I do not share that talent, so allow me to get to the point of today's festivities. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. As of today, I will be stepping down as queen and abdicating Kulain's throne. I will name my successor by day's end. Or Naraman. Is this why we came all the way here? 
Are you going to be crowned as queen? I may, Sindri. I may. Henceforth, this kingdom will have a ruler more in touch with its people. One who can adapt faster than a thousand-year-old elf. Come here. Leaving so soon? Oh, Gabriel, it was good to see you, but yes, I really should just go. You should stick around. The queen will be finished with this shortly, and then she will be able to hear your request. What? I've known you all my life, old goat. Why do I get the feeling that you're playing games? Maybe. Maybe not. Stick around and find out. Okay, but only a little bit longer. Is the queen going to announce her successor? We're going to have time to go shopping, right, Norman? Be patient, Sindri. I'm sure she'll announce my name soon, and then maybe we'll have time to look around before we go back. Maybe I'll buy you something. I am sure many of you are wondering whom I've chosen as my successor. However, I'm not yet ready to announce them. I must consult with the potential new monarch and with the council. I would encourage you all to go and enjoy the fair. When we meet back here again on the field of honor, we will commence with the coronation. And I have a grand surprise for you all. As for what that is, you'll have to meet me back here later today. I thank you, my people, and once again, I welcome you all to the Midsummer Fantasy Renaissance Fair. Now's your chance, Kinnear. If you're going to speak with the Queen today, this is the time. Oh, Gabriel, there is too much happening today. I really should leave. Okay, but you did say your men could use the extra help. Sometimes I wonder if I'm really your friend or just a pawn in your game. <laughs> things can be two things, Kinnear. I will stab you. <laughs> that is understandable. Kinnear, is that you? Yes, Your Majesty. I am so glad you're here, Kinnear. It is so good to see you. You as well, Your Majesty. I... I... What is it? Kinnear, you seem troubled. I realize that there are important things happening today, but it is imperative that I speak with you. Is there anywhere we can talk in private? Of course we can, Kinnear. Shy Ariel, would you be so kind as to show Kinnear where we hold the secret meetings? <laughs> Is that the one where you and I... Oh, okay, yes, I know where to Your Majesty, if I may have just a word. Surely, Gabriel. Tomas. Yes, Your Majesty. If you would be so kind. Of course, Your Majesty. Clear the field! You slack John gully door! Get out of here! Go! Shoot! Uh, you stay here. Tell me what they talk about, Your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> You are certain you know what you are doing, Erelis? Are you sure this is what you want? As sure as I can be, Gabriel. About your successor, I mean. All of the other nobles have certain, uh, we'll call them talents. <laughs> Although none of them know exactly what they are. <laughs> One could be a better choice. Do you know what these talents are? No. Do you know who has them and who does not? I do not know that either. No. <laughs> I understand your worry, Gabriel, but my choice is made. Now we will just have to wait and see, and hope. And hope. <laughs> Huzzah! Yep. Yeah.